The next gen ATP finals delivered all the promised drama even before a ball was hit with organizers. Issuing groveling apologizes after a draw ceremony blasted as sexist. The inaugural under-21 version of the ATP World Tour Finals starts in Milan. Bringing together emerging stars tipped to rival Rafael Nadal, Andy Murray, Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer. But a social media storm was whipped up after Sunday's draw ceremony when the players had to choose. Female models who had the letter A or B hidden on their bodies. To determine the round-robin group in which they would play. South Korean player Hyo Eun Chung looked visibly embarrassed as he was asked to pull off a female model's glove with his teeth during an evening designed as a tribute to Milan's famous links with the fashion industry. ATP executive president Chris Kermode apologized Monday describing the ceremony as unacceptable, personally disrespectful and that it won't happen again. The ATP Next Gen Milan draw ceremony made players select models to determine their groups. Stunningly uncomfortable, cringeworthy and trashy. Pick. Twitter. Compergram 630FK5 IOK Ben Rothenberg. At Ben Rothenberg. November 5, 2017. It's unfair and unreasonable we put these guys out there. It wasn't their choice. It's in no way to do with any of the players here tonight. He stepped in to add when the eight players were questioned. The event drew strong criticism on Twitter. Good job at Act World Tour supposed to be a futurist event, right? Hashtag back to zero HTTPS. T. Co. Kiv Kaisa Elise Cornette. At Elise A. Cornette. November 6, 2017. Kermode said that he hoped that the focus would be on the planned innovations which would be tested during the five-day tournament including shorter sets, no ad scoring, a no-let rule and electronic line calls to increase the pace of play. I've received a huge amount of mixed response. We're not trying to mess with the game of tennis but to try things that in five to ten years we might eventually integrate into the sport. We want, while the sport is in the best place it has ever been, to try to look towards innovating for the future. These guys are the future and they're going to be here for a long time. Andre Rublev, Denis Shapovalov, Hyon Chung, John Luigi Quincy, Daniil Medvedev, Jared Donaldson, Orna Chorich, and Karen Kachanov post during next gen ATP Finals launch party. Getty Images. The tournament gets underway without any big-name player with Germany's Alexander Zverev. At 20 already too strong for the group. Playing an exhibition match in Milan on Tuesday before flying to London for the ATP World Tour. Finals. The highest-ranked player in Milan will be Russian Andrei Rublev. Ranked 37th. And a winner this year on clay at Umag. Rublev said he was honored to be considered among the heirs to Nadal. Federer, Djokovic and Murray. These top four guys are something unreal. They're legends. I grew up with them and they are still top. To get close to them you have to put in a lot of work. Only time will show. The 20-year-old Rublev is one of three Russians in the field including 45th-ranked Karen Kachanov and 65th-ranked Daniil Medvedev. Kachanov sees a bright future for Russian men who have not held a Grand Slam since Merit Safin won the 2005 Australian Open. A lot of players from Russia are here. It's just a new generation. Young guys playing together, getting connected, said Kachanov. Canadian Denis Shapovalov, ranked 51. American Gerard Donaldson, 55. Croat Borna Chorich, 48. South Korea's Chung, 54, and Italian qualifier John Luigi Quincy, 306, complete the lineup. The U.S. has a rich tradition in tennis greats. There's been a lot of talk of a drought of a Grand Slam winner. Just that the game has become more international. Looking at this group so many continents are touched, said Donaldson. This tournament is about innovation, trying new things. It's definitely a cool, unique thing. 
For Shapovlov the most difficult change is getting used to the no-let rule. For me that would be pretty challenging, said the Canadian. Chung added, I'm so happy to be part of these great players here. I'm trying to play my best this week. The top two from each group will progress to the semi-finals. With the final next Saturday determining the best young player in the world and the winner earning 1 United States dollar 2 million